everyone, I'm Jada Kelly and I have a full body dumbbell workout for you today. So grab whatever dumbbell suits you. You can grab a light and heavy or just one that's right in the middle of the road. You're gonna be using it for lower and upper body today. Love this workout today. We're going through some strength moves, some power moves, some body weight moves, and a bonus round. Yes, you can do it. We're gonna get through it together. Let's go ahead and start our warm up. Big deep breath overhead and exhale. Something about starting the workout with a deep breath is just awesome. Gives you that split second just to center yourself. Decide that you're gonna finish what you start today. Yes, you are. Exhale. Awesome, all right, let's go over, over, and then reach back. Reach back, getting into that upper body first. Reach over, over. Nice, couple more rounds of this. I want you to really extend that arm back, keeping your hips square to the front. Nice job, couple more. Last one right here, awesome. Okay, let's get a lateral lunge, reach forward, come to the center. Other side, lateral lunge, reach forward and center. Nice job. Really extend those arms, bring them up overhead and then place them back down. Couple more. Push that butt to the back in that lateral lunge. You don't have to get super low since we're still in the warm up, but just get that, get a good range of motion. Last one on the side. Awesome, let's put our feet together. Hamstring stretch with the big arm circle right here. All the way up and down, good. Swing those arms through. I always love this stretch, it always feels so good. Couple more. Push that butt back. Give me one more each side. Awesome. Hands go all the way up, reach to the sky, and then pull those elbows down and back. Push the chest out as you do it. We're turning on that upper back. Good. Now let's put this together with a little bit of a hip hinge move, yes? So we're gonna have our, our arms extended as we drop down, pull back, extend, stand up. Good job. Down, pull back, extend, stand up. Give me two or three more of these. Nice hamstring stretch. Squeeze the glutes, turning them on. Give me one more here. Awesome, let's warm up those hips, shall we? Big hip circle, touch down. Stay on one side. Give me two more. If you're feeling a little crack and a pop, that's okay. <laughs> I'm hearing it too. Other side. As long as there's no pain. If there's pain, you work around the pain, okay? If there's a little crack and a pop, that's okay. One more. Run it out right here. Shake out those arms. All right. So like I said, three segments plus a bonus round today. Each time we go through the segment, we're gonna add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of extra to that move. All right, are you with me? Here we go. Go ahead and pick up those weights. Get into the first move. Dumbbells at your shoulders. I'm gonna show you from the diagonal. You go with me. Reverse lunge with our dumbbells up at our shoulders. So we're gonna be staying in each move for about 45 seconds with a 15 second transition. Yes, come on, 90 degree bend in the front and the back knee if possible. And you're gonna push through the front heel, whichever one is in front, as you stand up out of that lunge. Feel those butt cheeks turning on. Feel those quads turning on. Yes. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Amazing. All right, next move. 
dumbbell angel, shoulders down and back, pelvis tucked under, focusing on upper body in five, four, palms facing to the front, three, two, and bring those arms all the way up. It's like if you were on the floor making a snow angel, that's kind of what you're going for. <laughs> but we're not on the floor, we're standing up. But that's the, that's the move. Yes. I love this move for shoulders. I think I added in my workouts at least once a week or every other week. <sighs> Moving slow, we're not depending on momentum here. We're using our muscles. Yes, we are. Nine seconds. Last five. Three, two, one. Nice job. Going into split stance deadlift. So I'm gonna have my right foot forward. Left foot's gonna trail behind. My toes on the floor. Bending through my hip. Dumbbells reaching towards my toes. In three, two, and one. Right there. And then squeezing my right butt cheek as I stand up. Nice. So this can be called a split stance deadlift or a kickstand deadlift. I like to call it kickstand because it makes me think like this back leg is like a kickstand like you might have on a bike. A couple more seconds and we're gonna switch leads. In three, two, one, switch leads, no break. Push back with that other hip, squeeze forward. Now my left foot's forward, pushing that left hip back, squeezing the left butt cheek. Flat back on the way down, pushing my chest out, squeezing my glutes as I stand up. We got three, two, one, nice job. All right, so that was round one of this set. We're going back into round two, and of course, we're adding a layer of difficulty. Are you ready? Just say yes. Rat reverse lunge with a squat in the center. Ready? Here we go, 45 seconds. Reverse lunge, squat here, and then reverse lunge, other side. Back to center, hit that squat. So good, you guys. Make sure you're pushing your butt back and dropping down as you hit that squat. Nice, clean lunges. Breathing through your movement. 10 seconds left here. Last five, four, come on, three, two, one. Awesome transition. So remember that dumbbell angel that we did? Now we're adding on a bent over fly to it. Are you ready? Just say yes. <laughs> three, two, and one. Here we go, angel, palms face out, palm, or come back down, now palms face in. Bend over, fly like you have wings. Stand up, palms face out, hit that angel. Down, palms face in, bend and fly. I'm gonna show you from the diagonal. Good, butt cheeks are nice and tight. Push the hips back, fly, stand, hit that angel again. Nice job, you guys. We got about 15 seconds left here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, adding a bicep curl onto that kickstand deadlift. My right foot's gonna start forward, my left toe's gonna be this kickstand, bending through my right hip, adding the dumbbell curl on the stand. Ready? Let's go. We're gonna do half on one side, half on the other. Good, now with that curl, keep your elbows right into the sides of your body. We're not gonna move the elbows forward or back. They're right on the side. You can feel it kind of go into your waist. Three, two, switch leads, same thing, other side. Good, nice flat back on the way down to that deadlift leading with your chest, pushing your butt to the back of your space. Last three, two, one. Okay, going.
going back to the top of this one, you know we're adding another layer. So we have a rack reverse lunge, two squat center, and then another lunge. Here we go, in three, two, one, reverse lunge one side, two squats. One, two, reverse lunge other side. Yes, come on, let me see a little bit of extra on those squats. This third round is the most intense, and it's the last time we'll see any variations of these moves. So give it your all. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. All right, going back to the dumbbell angel, bent over row adding a wide row onto this one. Are you ready? I think so. All right, I'm gonna face you in three, two, one. Give me that angel. Palms in, bend over, fly. Palms towards you, wide row. Stand up, angel. So there's a little bit of shifting when it comes to your wrist placement, cool? So out for the angel, in for the fly, towards your body for the row. So good, you'll get it, you got this. Woo, working that back, I love it. Back and shoulders, three, two, one. All right, so. With this one, instead of doing the single leg deadlift with the kickstand, we got both legs working, okay? Two deadlifts, I'll show you from the diagonal. Feet underneath your hips, ready, set, let's go. Push your hips back, squeeze in, do it again. Curl right here. Yes, two deadlifts, one. Squeeze those butt cheeks, two. And then that curl. Nice and strong. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes on the stand, engaging your core on the curl. I guess you're really engaging your core all the time. Really, though. <laughs> all right, 10 seconds, come on. Flat back on the way down in that deadlift. Three, two, finish that curl. Yes, we did it, all right. We have about one minute rest, give or take. So this is just to give our body a second, just to get back to normal. You might feel like your heart rate is really up, gives it a chance to come back down. Maybe you wanna get water. This is your time in between our sets. Yes, okay. Now while you're resting, I'm gonna show you the first move in our next set. Squat, curl, and press. Here it is. Squat down, curl, press up overhead. Yes? There's no jump in it. It's just clean and powerful. Sound good? All right. A couple more seconds. Get in there. It's so funny, because I'm really one of those people who I'm not comfortable with rest but I wanna encourage you through this workout, sink into that rest, just let it happen. Because it's giving your body that full minute that it needs to get those energy storages ready for that next push. Here we go, squat curl press. Yep, feet can be about shoulder width apart, send your butt back, bend those knees. Yep. So good, you guys. Nice and clean with those moves. Arms go straight up. 10 seconds. Yes, come on, last three, two, one. 
Put those weights down for this move for this first round. We're gonna learn it. I call it a touchdown lunge. Feet are right underneath your hips. You drop into a squat, send one foot back, stay low. Other foot, or foot comes in, stand up out of it, and then do it on the other side. Let's go, 45 seconds. Touchdown lunge. Up, down, back, in, up. You got it. Back, in, up, down. Stay low, stand up, good. You feel it even without the weights because of that extra split second that you're staying low. So it's a great move. 13 seconds left. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Go ahead and grab one dumbbell. Dumbbell swing. Ready? In three, two, one. Swing back, up and switch. So I'll show you from the, from the side so you can see. Push the hips back, up and switch the dumbbell. Nice job. Movement through the hips. Primarily squeeze the glutes as you stand up back and down, squeeze as you stand up, slight bend to the knee, good, starting to burn through those hamstrings, through those glutes, switching the dumbbell, the dumbbell is in the air for a split second on its own before you catch it with the other hand, good, seven seconds, come on, three, two, one, all right, pick up that other dumbbell. We're going back to the top, squat, curl, power press. So we are gonna add a little bit of explosivity. Get ready, in three, two, one, squat, curl, power press. See that little jump, squat, curl. Let's do it. Now if you're like Jada, I'm not ready for that jump then you just go to the squat curl press. That's fine. Low curl, press it up. I wanna see that energy. Let's go. Yes, you guys. Five seconds, three, Two, one, awesome. Don't drop the weights. We got that touchdown lunge, but now we're adding some resistance to it. In seven seconds, feet underneath your hips. We'll drop into that squat, then send that leg back. In three, two, one, drop down, back, and stand, squeeze the glutes, there you go. Other side. So you're automatically gonna feel the workload increase because now you're holding weights. It's not just your body weight. So go ahead, allow yourself to feel that burn. Embrace that extra work. You're doing something amazing for yourself. Pushing your limits, pushing your boundaries today. Come on, nine seconds. Let's go, last three, two, one. All right, so going back to that swing move, but now you got two dumbbells, swing and clean. Are you ready? I'll show you from the diagonal. Feet underneath your hips. Let's go, bend those hips back, pull up and stop and squeeze. Back, nice. If you wanna bend your knees a little bit more, you can do that. Yes, you guys. Gotta flip my hair out of my face. There we go. I love my hair, but you know, I don't I don't wanna eat it during my workout. <laughs> Gotta flip it out of the way. We got five seconds. Four, three, two. One, 
in. All right, heading back to the top of this one. Squat curl, two power presses. Yes, I said two. Give me your all. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Squat curl. I almost added a jack. I didn't want to do that. Squat curl. That's it right there. Squat curl. Boom. What's that sound effect that you want to add? Oh, right there. <laughs> Go ahead, put it in. I wish I could hear what you guys were doing. <laughs> Come on, 15 seconds. Last five. Three, two, one, awesome. You know we're headed back to that touchdown lunge, but we're adding a jump squat out of it. Yes, we are with our dumbbells. Yes, you can. Ready? In three, two, one. Drop down into the squat. Back, in, jump. Uh-huh. Back, in, jump. Land, back, in, jump. Now if you're like, Jada, I'm not jumping today. Get up on those toes then. There's always something you can do to intensify the move. Maybe it's a jump, maybe it's a calf raise, but there's always something. So you find what your body is capable of, do it and celebrate the hell out of that. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Yes, all right. So I'm gonna face you. We got that swing in the center, adding an alternating curtsy lunge. In three, two feet about hip width apart. Ready, let's go, swing it back, rack it, curtsy lunge. Swing it back center, ah, right there. Curtsy lunge. So that curtsy, back foot cuts across to the back diagonal. Head is up, chest is up. Front knee bends and back knee bends. I think this might be my favorite move of the day. <laughs> I like the swing. Ready, come on. Yes, there we go. Eight seconds. Coming up on a one minute rest. In three, two, one. You guys are awesome. So remember what I said, embrace the rest. There's no rush here. You don't have to jog in between, although you can if you really wanted to. You don't have to, just breathe. You got 60 full seconds. So enjoy it right now. And I'm gonna show you the moves for the next section. So we're starting hands behind our head and just hitting alternating lateral lunges with our arms behind our head, elbows out. Yep. If you wanna get water, go get some now. Towel off, it's a great time to do it. Mentally pep talk yourself, great time to do it. Be like, yeah, I am that, I am that person. Yes, you are, you can do it. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> You know, you, we all need that mental boost every once in a while. <laughs> all right, my weights are out of the way. We're going in eight seconds, hands behind your head, elbows out, alternating that lateral lunge in three, two, one. Here we go. 45 seconds, sink in, push off. Nice and deep. So my head stays up, my chest never falls. That's the goal, to get low with my knee, but not with my chest. Good guys, 14 seconds. And then our next two moves, we're gonna be down on the mat for our next two moves. So get ready, five, four, three, two, 
one. Okay, let's get in for some push-ups. Take it down. You can start on your knees. Arms are as wide as you want, but make sure that wrists are underneath your shoulders. Ready? Let's go. I'm gonna move this dumbbell. There we go. Bring it down, up. So, like I said, you can do those push-ups on your knees. You can take them to your toes. I've done so many push-ups today. On my knees feels good for me today. So you go with your 100% today, okay? Come on. Butt cheeks tight, belly button pulled to your spine. Make sure that butt drops with the rest of your body. We're not keeping the butt up in the air. It's dropping right along with us in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, all right, we are going into a bicycle. Bicycle crunch, so go ahead and get on your back. Ready, in seven seconds, four, three, two, and one little crunch to start, elbow to knee. Extend those legs, nice and long. So good. Keep breathing, 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna stay down here. We're gonna deal with all the moves on the floor. Then we'll come back up and we'll hit that lateral lunge move at the very end, okay? So go ahead, turn over. We're going back to those push-ups. This time we're adding a froggy. So give me one push-up, one froggy. Let's do it. Here we go, here's what it looks like from your knees. One push up, kick to that plank, froggy back, back down. Push up. Come on, sink those hips back and down towards the heels on that froggy. 20 seconds. There we go. Last 10. Last five, you got it. Three, two, one. So good. All right, turning over. Four bicycles, two knee hugs with an extension. Are you ready? Just say yes. <laughs> Just say yes. Okay, here we go. Bicycle, give me four in three, two, one, bicycle, one, two, three, four, knee hug, extension, knee hug, extension, back to the bicycle. Four, three, two, you got this. Push up, froggy, hit that plank, reach right, reach left, back to the push up. Remember, you can always do the push up from your toes if you want. Yes, you got this. Eighteen seconds. Last five, four, three, two, whoo! All right, turning over, we have 
What is it? I can't remember. Oh, we're adding blue bridges. Yes, okay. Four bicycles, two knee hugs, two glute bridges. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Knee hugs two times. Put your feet down, bridge up one, two. Back to the bicycles. Knee hugs. Bridge up. Back to the bicycles. This one feels good. 13 seconds. Bridge up. Squeeze them. Three, two. I'm just going to get these last bicycles in. All right, standing back up. We're gonna finish those lateral lunge moves. You ready? Just say yes. Hands behind your head, lateral lunge, knee up in three, two, one. So we're going down to the lunge again, knee up, hold. Woo! Turning on that core. It looks easy, <laughs> but you gotta find that balance real quick. You feel that core just like, oop, turn on. <laughs> Right there, come on. And if that happens, don't trip. Right back up. Yes. You're gonna feel yourself getting stronger as the 45 seconds go on. Yep, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, adding on to this move. Lateral lunge, knee up, <laughs> and then we're gonna twist, bring that elbow to knee. Are you ready for this? Yes, you are. Three, two, one. Lateral lunge, knee up, twist over. Oh, that was good, okay. Lateral lunge, knee up, hold it, get that balance, then twist, put it down other side. There we go. So good. Lateral lunge, knee up, catch that balance, then twist, back down. 15 seconds. Yes, three, two, one. One minute rest. Are you ready for the bonus round? Cause we went through our three sets. Now we got our bonus. You in it, I'm in it. We in it together? Yeah. Okay, enjoy your rest. Get your water, towel off if you need to. Going in for the last few minutes, okay? So we have a deep lunge, row at the bottom, stand. So this is gonna work everything. <laughs> Don't you love those moves? Yes, you do. All right, so you're still in rest. I'm gonna show you what the move is. Deep lunge, so my right foot's forward, my left foot goes way back. At the bottom of this lunge, I'm gonna hold it, squeeze my butt cheeks, row in, let it go, stand up on the front leg. Mm-hmm, that's where we're going. We got about 15 seconds. Still working in that 45 second interval of work and then 15 second rest interval. We're going in 10. You're gonna keep the right leg forward for this 45 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Lunge back, row, it's nice and strong. Stand up strong. This is one of my favorite moves ever. I put it in my own workout a couple weeks ago, and I honestly have not been able to get enough. I feel everything working in that, in that front leg for my lower body, and I love working my back. So getting that row in there, 13 seconds. Yep, Woo. don't fall. Last three, two, one, 15 seconds, enjoy it. 
I'm gonna turn to the other side. Now my left foot's forward, my right leg is lunging back. We got that row again in three, two, one. Here we go. Our lunge back row, stand up strong. You see how I'm, I'm not even using my back leg to help me stand up? It's all the work on the front leg. So after you row, transfer all your weight to that front leg, stand up, that back leg kind of just trails behind, but it doesn't really do any of the work. Yep. We got 13 seconds, we're almost there. Last three, two, one. You guys, you are so amazing. Go ahead and drop that one dumbbell. So we did those single dumbbell swings at the beginning. This time we're adding a jump to it. Yeah, uh-huh. Bonus round, <laughs> three, two, one, let's go. Hop together, back open. Yes, show you from the side. Switch that dumbbell. Now if you're not jumping, you just tap your feet side to side. You still switch that dumbbell. Yep. So good, you guys. Coming back to the front. You know we gotta put that little cardio push at the end, right? 10 seconds. Home stretch. Three, two, one. Woo, okay. We got these moves again. Leveling it up. Are you ready? Give me two rows at the bottom. Starting right foot forward, deep lunge. Stand up strong. Two rows at the bottom of the lunge. In three, two, one. When our last three minutes of this workout. Two rows at the bottom. Come on, I wanna see that row nice and strong. Working through that mid back. Draw your elbows in and back. Straight through the front leg as you stand up. Whew. I can feel, feel my thighs. Feel them working. <laughs> Last 10 seconds, come on. Last eight. Three, two, and one. All right, other side, left leg forward. Right leg lunging back, we got those double rows again. You're gonna go in even stronger than you did in this last one. In three, two, let's go. Elbows in and back, come on. Pushing through. This is the time to give 100%. You're not backing off, you're not backing down. You've committed to finishing this workout with me. We're gonna do it together. You take a break if you need it, but then you get right back in. 15 seconds. Yep. Last five. Whoo! Three, two, one. Drop one dumbbell. All right, guys, so this last one, you know it. We've been there. We're just gonna give it our all. Last 45 seconds, swing, dumbbell swing, hop the feet together in the center, let's go. And switch that dumbbell. Hips and knees bend, yep. So you're gonna give me all you have left. If you're not jumping, you're tapping those feet in, just like this, switching the dumbbell. Each time your body comes up. I want you to smile, because all we got is 15 seconds left. <laughs> Come on, we're in it together. Like I've always said, we're pushing through. I'm right there with you. We're finishing strong. Last five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Can we get a 
celebration dance. All right, you guys, you are so amazing. Let's cool down, shall we? I know my heart rate's up a little bit, just a little. Take a deep breath, let's slow it down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more together. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome job, you guys. I'm gonna move this dumbbell. Come up on this mat. Turn all the way to one side. Hit this nice long lunge. Front hand hits the mat or the floor. Back hand opens up, world's greatest stretch. Twist that body and look up to those fingertips. If you wanna kinda of loosen that wrist, go for it. Three, two, one. Elbow comes down all the way if you can. Touch the mat if possible. If not, don't worry about it, just reach for it. Open up one more time. Hand comes down, straighten the legs. Rock through the stretch. Toe goes up in front and then down, heel comes up and back. Good. Couple more. Three, two, one. Bend the knees, open up center, hands on your thighs. Roll up slowly. Nice job. Can you give me that tricep stretch right here? Arms go up to the sky, other side. Body turns all the way to the other side. Drop down into that deep lunge. Front hand is on the floor or the mat. Back hand opens up, twist the body, look at the fingertips. Once again, you can twist that wrist if you want to. Three, two, elbow comes all the way down. Reach for the mat. Opens up one more time. Hand comes down to the mat, straighten the legs, rock through the hamstring stretch. Just stay here for a second. So good, bend the knees, open up center, hands on your thighs, roll up again. Hands go up, we hit the triceps already, let's bring it down, stretch the shoulder. Open up, let's get the other side. Remember to keep your shoulder girdle down and then pull that arm across. Let's end with a couple ragdoll stretches, okay? So I like to put my feet right underneath my shoulders, cut one shoulder across to the other side, drop the body, swing around all the way, sweep the floor with your hands, come up, open up that chest, close it off again and all the way around. Other side, here we go. Yep, sweep the floor, open up that chest, all the way around again. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We did that. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today for our full body dumbbell workout. I'm Jada Kelly and I cannot wait to work out with you next time.